Okay, what's up guys? I take way too long to get a full commentary video out, so here's a quick overview of the Awami. I know a lot of you are wondering if it's worth grinding or not, so let's take a look. Okay, so first off we have to look at this so-called pinpoint accuracy. A lot of you guys in the comments rightfully scoffed at the thought of a Japanese ship with accuracy that good, and you guys were right. We have 1.9 Sigma, which is also known as shell grouping, and standard Japanese dispersion. So, Iwami will feel a lot like other Japanese battleships in terms of accuracy. At longer ranges it will work well, but at close to mid-range the guns will let you down more often than not. Oh, it's certainly not bad accuracy, but it's far from pinpoint I'm afraid. Which brings me to the playstyle of Iwami. This isn't really a brawler. The secondaries aren't too bad and we of course have torpedoes, but like I just said, the guns are built around playing at longer ranges and sniping. So like all Japanese battleships, our game is all about long range engagements. So you should be playing to your strengths and playing fairly passively on the back line. These torpedoes have a whopping 15 kilometers of range, so they act a lot like Japanese cruiser torpedoes. While you're sailing around the back line, you can fire off torpedoes in the general direction of your enemy and hope for the best. Oh, yes! Of course though, if you do find yourself in a brawl, torpedoes are a nice get out of jail free card, and secondaries can come in clutch. Just be careful not to expose your raised citadel. It was also said in the trailer that Awami has rapid fire guns, and this statement is true. I'm sat at a 21 second reload with a sniper build, so if you can keep these guns firing you can get some very spicy damage numbers. Everything else about the ship is solid, AA is good, we're nice and quick and the guns hit hard. Oh and the firing angles are really nice. Is it better than Musashi? Probably not. But what Iwami has going for it is that it's adaptable. Musashi can't push in and brawl, Iwami can. It's no overpowered abomination, but it's a good all-rounder that should appeal to the vast majority of you, which in my opinion should be the goal of all campaign ships. So in my book, it's not too shabby. Okay, that's all I've got for you. Take care, guys.